well, let's bring in someone from the Republican Party just to tell you that we are not one-sided. We also have been joined by uh, mayoral candidate Ejike Okpa, who will be helping us understand what exactly the dynamics are for the Republican side of the U.S. elections. A very good morning to you. Thank you for joining us, sir, and uh, we're happy to have you. How are you doing? Good. Thank you for having me. Right. So um, have you voted already, if I may ask? Oh, yeah, I do early voting. I don't I don't wait for the last day because, you know, it gets chaotic and the, long, the lines are usually long. So, yes, I have voted. OK, great. So, I mean, I'm going to start from the thorny issue of uh, immigration. I am pretty surprised that you have a number of people of color, like yourself, who are supporting Donald Trump. Here on the continent, I'm sure you have a Nigerian ties, but here on the continent, it suddenly makes people say they support Trump, irrespective of his uh, immigration policies he has put out. As someone who is in the US and clearly a Republican, what do you make of uh, the, 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 what do you make of Donald Trump's immigration policies he intends to roll out if he does get to the Oval Office? Well, I support it. I, I came to America legally. You know, I was denied visa two times in Nigeria. I got it the third time. You know, America is not saying don't come to America. America is saying come legally. Mm. Uh, just like, you know, when Ghanaians came to Nigeria, remember the, the, the phrase that came out of that, uh, you know, Ghana must go. You know, so, you know, with America should not have to put up with the, the, the irresponsibility of people from countries that say they have challenges. You know, come here legally and the opportunities are limitless. The only thing I cannot be as an American, as, as a naturalized citizen, is become president. But I can be anything. You know, that's why I ran for mayor, the first native African in the history of American immigrants coming here. I ran for mayor of Dallas in less than eight years of becoming a citizen. I ran for Congress and currently every Every president, I mean, every governor of Texas has always appointed me since 1995 when I became a citizen. So, so this thing about Trump not liking immigrants is falsehood. It is, is the, the Democrats' way of, you know, again, using falsehood to make it look like it's a fact. We say come to America legally. Nobody allows or loves illegal immigration. It's stressful. Mm -hmm. You know, Trump said when he ran for the first time, nobody should have to die to come to America. Mm. You know, come legally, right. you know, make the effort. But, but, but again, you know, me, just like my home is my country. If a, a family member of mine were to break into my home, I would kick them out. But if, if I say, come on as a guest, I know when you come in, then I will avail myself of what I, is available to them. And then they too will be comfortable. There are a lot of African immigrants in this country. You know why they are not participating in the American process? They are illegal. They come on a visit and then they start to stay. When you do that, you start to hide, you start to do jobs that are not very reflective of your capability, of your interest. Why would you want to waste your life that way right. because you're in America? Okay. Why would and, you want to do that? And, and Mr. Okpa, still on that issue, uh, he has gone around in his campaign. We know that he did his last campaign yesterday. What would you say Donald Trump's campaign has, uh, has largely been like? Many say he... It was a bit more vitriolic and, um, you know, this is the, the, the in as much as the tight election, it has also been quite uh, filled with anger and the language has been very negative. Do you get that sense from the camp of Donald Trump as well? No, I don't get that sense. But again, you know, it is what it is. Just like you, you said in your opening remarks, you said global village, you can see what is going on instantly. People are subject to interpret things. You know, there are people that are very observant. There are people who just observe, who just look at things, but they don't observe it. So Trump antics does not perturb me. Again, you know, I know him when he was in the White House. I was a guest of him for three times. Uh, and if he had won the second term, I would have been made an ambassador. I would have been the first native African who is a non-career diplomat that would have gotten that job. But again, it is what it is. Uh, and he, he knows he's a businessman. He's the only American that has gone from the executive office of his business to the executive office of the president. And then that's a resentment because the typical politician in America is somebody who's gone through the process. You look at Obama, you look at Clinton, you look at Biden. What have they done or what did they do before they get there? You know, they have been beneficiary of public support and all of a sudden, you know, their president 
Trump is the one who has built things in America, created jobs, added you know, revenue to the community where he lived. So okay. the resentment towards him is because of that. Again, he's not a perfect individual. I don't look for angels in politics. I look for angles. For me, it's who's going to get the job done. Right. And Trump had the job done when he was there for the first term. Right, and you're confident he'll get the job done and win the election and go to the Oval Office? That's my last question. You're confident well, in again, that? Yeah. <laughs> again, like, I'm an investor as a Republican. I'm not just a person who votes. You know, I gave him money, you go Google my name, you say, it. yes, I would like to see him win. And when he does that, America is going to get back to what America ought to be.